Hello, God Ventures. Uh, another episode, uh, another teaching. Uh, we're going to look today at uh, Horeb and Sinai. We're going to take a look and see what the difference is and how they're used in Scripture. Uh, many scholars have debated over are they same. Some say that uh, that one is one side of the mountain, Horeb is one side of the same mountain, and Sinai is the other side of the same mountain. And I'm going to take a look at scripture and show you how Horeb and Sinai are one and the same of the same mountain in the same place on the mountain. They're not; it's not called one thing on one side, one thing one thing on the other side. And they're one and the same. And why is it called differently in different places? So let's first take a look at uh, Exodus 3:1. We see that Moses tended Jethro's sheep where. In Horeb, we see in Exodus 17, 6, uh, God split the rock where? At Horeb. And then we're going to get into a little bit more of where they we see the similar the similarities real quick. If we go to Deuteronomy 4.10, Deuteronomy 4.10, and start in verse 10, I would say. And it says, especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, that they may teach their children. And ye came near, and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And the Lord spake unto you out of the midst of the fire, and ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude. Only ye heard a voice, and he declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, even ten commandments, and he wrote them upon two tables of stone. So here we see in Deuteronomy 4, he's, he's putting uh, this event into three short scriptures, which also lines up perfectly with Exodus 19, actually. Where 19 is where God commands Moses for the people to draw near to the mountain. And uh, here in Exodus 19:17, Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the nether part of the mount, which is exactly what that says in, in Exodus 10, or Deuteronomy 10. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire. And the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And then it goes on, on to Exodus 20, all the way through 24, is where uh, God delivers the commandments to them, and also the Book of Covenants to them. And, and, and then after, after he gives the spoken commandments, then the people were, were afraid they moved away, and then drew, Moses drew near, and that's when he gave him the Book of Covenants. Uh, which we don't hear taught about very much, but I digress. When you look back at verse 18, it says, And Mount Sinai was altogether on smoke. And talk about the smoke and the fire and the thunder and the, and the trumpet sounding and everything else. And, and back in Deuteronomy, and he wrote on the table, it was Deuteronomy 10, and he wrote on the tables according to the first writing the Ten Commandments, which the Lord spake to you in the mint, out of the mount, out of the midst of the fire, in the day of the assembly, and the Lord gave them to me. And Deuteronomy 4 tells the exact same thing, which we just read. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in where? In Horeb. When the Lord said to me, gather the people together. So... Deuteronomy 4.10 calls that same event, same mountain, calls it Horeb. And Exodus 19.18 is very clear that this is in Mount Sinai. It was all together on smoke and fire, and then he delivered the, the commandments. So you got two, two separate events, or the same event. It's the same event. The same event, and one says it's on Mount Sinai, the other one says it's on Mount Horeb, or in Horeb. Okay, so let's let's look at another example. Another example in uh, Exodus 31, Exodus 31, 18. He gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tab tables of 
stone written with the finger of God. Okay, so what? After he got done talking with Moses on Mount Sinai, he gave him two tables of testimony, table of stone written with the finger of God. Very clear where this is, Mount Sinai, what he did. He gave him the tables of stone written with the finger of God, right? Uh, you go to 32.19, it says the same thing. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh to the camp. So Moses, Moses receives the receives the commands, receives the tablets, and then he comes down from the mountain, then he witnesses what Aaron and all the people were doing, and dancing naked, praising and worshiping this, uh, this golden calf, right? They didn't change locations between this. It's Mount Sinai is where they're at. And he came down, and it came to pass as soon as he came nigh to the camp, he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands and break them beneath them out. So here we have the same same story. There's no change in location. There's the Mount Sinai, receives the tablets, goes down to the to, down to the foot of the mount, breaks the tablets, right? And this is all Mount Sinai, correct? Okay, so, so let's go to Psalm 106.19. And it says they made a calf in Horeb, and they worshipped the molten image. Where did they worship the molten image? I thought it was in Sinai. Well, they made a calf in Horeb, and they worshipped the molten image. Psalms, David is saying, where they worshipped the molten image. Horeb. So let's turn over to, hold my spot there, turn to Malachi. For Matthews, Malachi, Malachi 4, verse 4. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with statute and judgments. So where did Moses receive the commandments? Horeb, according to Malachi. And uh, turn back to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 9, back at verse 8. Also in Horeb, he provoked the Lord to wrath, which is talking in the same instance, so that the Lord was angry with you to have destroyed you when I was gone up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant which the Lord made with you. I abode in the mount forty days and forty nights, neither did I eat bread nor drink water. Is this the same event? Is Exodus 31, 32? Yes, it's the same event. There's Exodus 31 and 32. That's when Moses went up and fasted forty days and forty nights and was with the Lord. So this says it's in Horeb. Exodus says it's in Sinai. Why is it different? What's the difference between Sinai and Horeb? Okay, so we saw that in Deuteronomy 9, 9, that Moses went up, abode in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. And we also see that in Exodus 24, 18. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and got him into the mount, and Moses was in the mount forty days and forty nights. The same same thing? Different mount? Same mount. Was it Sinai or was it Horeb? And here here's a uh, another little little fact. Uh, we were possibly pronouncing those things wrong. If we look how they're pronounced, it's Horeb. Horeb H O R with an A to B, Choreb, Choreb, and then Sinai isn't Sinai at all. It's Sin I, Sin I, Sin I, S I, like an S I N, Sin or S E E N, Sin and E Y E, like Sin I, like Sin I, not Sinai, as we're we're common to pronounce it in English. So Choreb is Sinai. What's what's the difference? What's the difference? Uh, Horeb, by biblical definition, is is a wasteland. It's a it's a it's a wilderness, and then Sinai is the mountain. That's that's the like the proper name for the mountain. But Horeb or Hereb is the uh, the description of a mountain. So that's the nasty place. That's it's like saying that's the junkyard, but uh, you know that's Bill's junkyard. That's kind of like what the difference is. Why do they use Chareb in Deuteronomy? Uh, Moses Moses says uh, 
Horeb many, many times, but but Sinai is listed many more times than Horeb is. So so that's that's the main difference in looking at the two. Are they mentioning the same thing? Absolutely, they're mentioning the same thing. One gives it a generality term, Horeb, Horeb, and saying this is the the de this the desert. It's the wasteland. It's it's the the nasty place. It's a horrible wilderness that we had to spend forty years in. And because they're disobedience, murmuring, complaining, but also it is the place where they received the commandments, where Moses was taken into the mount, spoke with God, and and, and another thing is where Elijah went. He went into a cave in the cleft of the rock, and where he spoke with God, likely the very same place where Moses was. He went in. It says over and over again, he went in the mount which is likely the same cave. It's still there, by the way, and you can go and visit that if you can get past the security and the governments and everything that's blocked people from visiting this mount. And uh, so so the difference is Horeb is the general term. Mount Sinai is the proper name for the mount. So they are one and the same. So you can look it up and look in different concordances and, and different things and you're going to get many different answers. But following scripture, reasoning it out, it's the same place, same time. So I hope this maybe calls you to dig into scripture. I've got many more scriptures that, that also back this up. But uh, mouth of two or three witnesses and I'm giving you two or three answers as to why it's the same place. So uh, please, as always, subscribe. Look down below, click that subscribe button, subscribe and follow us on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it. Uh, comment. And, uh, you know, let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. You can email me, uh, Brandon Freeland. Make sure you get the spelling right, brandonfreeland at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook. If you like the Facebook thing, uh, go search for God Ventures. You'll find us on there and follow us. And, uh, yeah. As always, God ventures.